So here's the thing, if you want to look at Power BI reports inside Outlook, you can now. It's been announced on Microsoft Build 2022. There is a catch though, and that is why I think it hasn't been shouted out by people. But let me show you the details. Okay, so there's an integration to PowerPoint. I created a video yesterday, and now we're going to talk about the integration to Outlook. You can have Power BI in Outlook, but not on the application that you install on your computer. So it's available on the app, on the App Store, and it's available also on the web, but it's not available on Outlook, you know, the one that you get from Office 365 installed on your computer. And probably that's the reason why people are not so overexcited. Anyway, there are some neat features though, and I want to show them to you so you see how it works when it hopefully makes it to the installed version too. Let me show you. So I am on my Outlook for web. I don't have the web app installed, so this will do. And you can see here that you have a bunch of apps. If you click here, you probably have Power BI installed already if you don't talk to your admin. So you can actually click on there and it'll take you to Power BI, right? I think you can, you cannot pin it for now, but that's fine. You have it there anyway. So here you will be able to see all the reports that are available. This is the same experience as in Teams. You have Power BI service embed in Outlook. So if you are writing an email for your colleagues and you need some data, you can actually, within Outlook, find the data you need. You don't have to go outside. So this is a convenience thing. There is another thing that is neat. So you start creating an email. You say, hey, the Freedom Score for India has put them in the partly free category country. Check the details here. And this is the neat thing. Uh, you can go here to more apps, grab Power BI, and then you can search your reports the same as you do in Teams. So you can have the freedom in the world. And then you can attach the card. So you can say, hey, go there if you want to verify what I'm saying or if you want to have more details. It would be really, really cool if we could like have a snapshot of exactly that part. You can do it, obviously, because now you have Power BI integrated in Outlook. You can get a snapshot and paste that instead. But if you know that the person that you are talking to is familiar with the report, you can actually send them the link to the report. It is, again, a convenience thing. It's not revolutionary, but if you work with a lot of data, for example, finance, this is this is a neat thing. So the biggest drawback for this is that it's not available on your Outlook installed version, but otherwise, I think it's really neat. A few moments later. So here's an update. I actually checked the email I sent with the card, you know, pointing to Power BI service on the Office version that I have installed on my computer. And this is what it looks like. There's no card. So if your team is using only the web version, you're good. But if you have a mix, don't use it because it doesn't work. Okay, just, just so you're aware of. Give it a go and let me know what you think down below. See you in the next one.